in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the fastest way of running C Sharp programs in Visual Studio Code. The first thing you want to do is download the .NET Software Development Kit. This will allow you to enter the .NET command directly from the command line. So go ahead and type download.net into Google. I'm going to go to the second link here and first we need to download the SDK. So I'll go ahead and click on that file and go back to that page and click on the runtime. When downloading this, you should select your operating system. Mine's Windows X64, so I'll grab that. I'm going to wait until the file has finished downloading and, and go through the installation process. Now, I will do the same with the second file, which was the .NET runtime. Now, once the runtime is installed, go ahead to your start button in Windows and type CMD. Now, we're going to check if the .NET has actually finished installing. And if you see the version of .NET here, just 6.0 in my case, then it has been successfully installed. Now, go ahead and open your VS Code editor and go to extensions. Type in C Sharp and the first extension is the one we're looking for. Click install and you might also want to install C Sharp extensions. So type that in C Sharp extensions, select the second result, install that as well and pretty much we're done here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close all of those tabs we can now create a new C-sharp project. I'm going to go to File menu and go to Open Folder. I'm going to right-click anywhere in this space to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this folder um, C-sharp. So I'm going to have C-sharp on my C drive. And go ahead and click Select Folder button. The .NET command will generate our project automatically so we don't have to create a new file. I'm going to go ahead and open terminal and type in .NET dash dash version just to check if it's still installed correctly and go ahead and type .NET new console which will create a new console application. You'll notice that two new files were added to our project, the project file and the actual source code for our C Sharp application. You see this pop-up message so Go ahead and click the yes button in the lower right corner and this will automatically add the required assets to run our c -sharp program. Go ahead and type .NET restore. This will keep our files up to date. And finally, type .NET run and that will run our c -sharp application. Now I forgot to actually save the file so it's still showing the previous message. But if I run it again, it's going to show the correct message. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste a slightly bigger program into here and try to run that again. So I'm going to type .NET run. And this program is actually going to ask me to enter a message and it simply displays it again. And pretty much that's how you run C-sharp applications in VS Code.